everyone. Welcome to Spooky Tea Coffee Time, Episode Nine. Uh, although it's already the ninth episode, I'm still a little bit um, nervous. As you can see, I was applying some essential oil on myself, the lavender essential oil, and I hope it can help me this time. Um, I'm not sure whether you have. I mean, whether it's still holiday in your country. It's already the second working week here in China, and we got our first snow in 2019, and it covers most part of China, and it's really, really beautiful. Almost uh, more than half of the China is white, and I'll show you some very beautiful photos. I'll go and uh, share, share screen. Yeah, all good. This is the photo taken in our city. And I'm sure that most of you have heard of uh, Confucius. He is a very, very famous person. Where is a very, very famous um, person? in China and is still very famous and his teachings is uh, affecting a lot of uh, Chinese people. And this is uh, taken in Confucius temple. It's very beautiful place. And it's about 15 hours, uh, uh, 15 minutes drive from uh, the place I'm living. So uh, whenever there we have um, Foreigner, foreigners visiting us, we would bring them to the Confucius temple. So if anyone here, if any of our friends will come to China in the future, let us know. We can show you around the beautiful Confucius temple. It is very cold now. The weather is very cold. I mean, beautiful, but cold. So it's very important for uh, women to keep warm because naturally a lot of women uh, have a cold body, cold hands and cold feet. Um, we need to wear a lot more during these days. And more importantly, we need to drink warm and eat warm, not just the temperature warm. Also the energy of the food is, is best to be warm. In Chinese traditional medicine, we have energy, um, Grade for different kinds of food. Uh, there are hot, warm, neutral, cool, and cold. For mm, most women, I mean, generally, most women are cold, have cold body, so it's best for us to have a warm and a hot food. But um, mm, before you decide what kind of food to eat, it's best for you to know what, what kind of body you are. Uh, how do you tell what kind of body if you have, like, like what I mentioned, uh, if you have cold um, hands, cold uh, feet, uh, if you have um, mm, ache in tummy, if you have uh, tummy pain after eating cold food, then it's highly possible that your body is cold. And if you feel really hot or anxious, um, it's possible that you have a warm body, hot body. So it's best for you to take some um, um, cold property food. Here I'm uh, making a list of uh, some of the warm food. Actually, it's a warm and hot food sources. Uh, because I'm a vegetarian, so um, for vegetarian, most of uh, generally speaking, most of fruits and vegetables are cold and cool, not just the temperature. Also, the uh, the energy of the food is um, cold and uh, cool. So I'm paying a lot of attention to taking the hot and warm fruits and vegetables. Generally, uh, to typically sweet fruits are. Uh, warm food, like uh, coconut, chestnut, the apricot, lychee, mandarin, mango, peach, and um, raspberry. Vegetables, typically uh, pungent vegetables. I mean, hot, um, spicy vegetables, onions, leek, chives, 
mustard greens, pumpkins, spring onions. And if you um, also eat meat, uh, you can take some butter, chicken, lamb, mussels, prawns, venison. And for grains or seeds, you can take some uh, walnuts, pistachio nuts, pine nuts, malt, gluten, glutinous rice, and chestnuts. Or the, uh, you can also find some uh, spices or drinks here that are warm and uh, hot. So, um, yeah, it's winter now in most of the country. I mean, not in New Zealand or Australia, but in most of the country, uh, it's uh, winter now. It's very imp important for, for cold body people to have some warm and hot food. You can easily find the property, the, the energy type of the food, um, Google. So do a search and make sure that you have the right kind of food. Today's topic is um, uh, how to treat uh, uterine fibroids using Spooky 2 and essential oils. Um, I'm not a doctor, so I'm not in any position to offer treatment suggestions. But lucky for us, we have thousands of users and Spooky 2 is a collective wisdom of, from these thousands of users. And over these years, we have received a lot of positive feedbacks from our users dealing with uterine fibroids. They have told us what kind of programs they have been using and whether it has been working for them. So we have collected all this information together and today we're sharing with our audiences. Why I'm talking about uh, um, uterine fib fibroids? Because a shocking statistic shows that one out of five women are having uterine fibroids. I mean, women during childbearing age. And uh, the very bad kind, the submucorous fibroids, are interfering with women getting pregnant by a shocking 70%. Because most women do not have a very severe symptoms from uterine fibroids, and they don't even know that they have it. So that's why I'm sharing it today. And I hope that this sharing can raise the awareness from many women here. What are the t symptoms of uh, uh, uterine fibroids? I mean, there are many different symptoms, and these are uh, these listed here are some very common ones. If you have very heavy menstrual bleeding, I mean, um, really heavy ones and black ones, it's very possible that that you may have uterine fibroids. And if your periods last more than one week, or if you have bleedings between periods. I mean, if you have that, that is highly possible. It is highly possible that you have this fibroids and you may need to go to the hospital to have a check. Or um, some other symptoms, including pelvic pressure or pain, frequent urination, um, backache or leg pains, constipation, etc. Do a Google research and find out other symptoms or do a... Um, Sim simple check in the hospital and find out whether you have it because the very bad ones, very bad uterine fibroids will prevent women from getting pregnant. And uh, that's one of the reasons why the infertility rate is so high today. What is uterine fibroids? Uterine fibroids are non-cancerous tumors made of smooth muscle cells and fibrous connective tissues. They grow inside the cavity, within the walls, or on the outside of the uterus. They are also called uterine myomas, leiomyomas, or fibromas. Fibroids are the most common non-cancerous tumor in women of childbearing age. It's possible that fibroids, especially submucosal fibroids, can cause infertility or miscarriage. 
Fibroids may also increase the risk of certain pregnancy complications, such as placental abruption, fetal growth restriction, and preterm delivery. So what are the causes of atrium fibroids? It's very sad to know that doctors still don't know the causes of uterine fibroids yet. But research and clinical experiences point to these factors. Genetic changes, hormones, possible viruses, and other growth factors. And the programs, suggestions we received from our users are based on these causes. So we have, um, you know, uh, separated this, um, we have categorized these um, program suggestions into each, under each course, and I'm sharing with you now. The first one is genetic changes. While there is much we don't know about fibroids, we do know that each individual fibroid starts from a single cell growing abnormally also called a mutation. If you go to Spooky2 um, frequency database and uh, type in the keyword mutation, I think this BRCA HIV, Herbert Tincture Immune Boost or DNA Protection Program should be the first one that comes out. And this is a molecular white frequency program. It's an experimental program provided by one of our Spooky2 users, Nicola Alexandra Hanju. She is a very, very cute and um, interesting lady. She has shared a lot of um, useful information on Spooky2 forum. And also in Spooky2 software, we have a lot of uh, molecular weight of, um, frequency programs shared by her. She did a lot of research for us. The central idea behind this BRCA HIV tincture is the studies showing that natural herbal preparations can undermine the silencing of the BRCA gene mutation and restore immune functions by repairing the DNA mutations, reducing the inflammatory actions and reducing toxins which seem to underlie the BRCA expression in the body cells. So although the um, overgrowth has started, you can still try the mutation program and try this program to see whether it is useful. I mean, it won't do any harm. The second course is uh, hormones. If you do a research on internet, you can find that there is a very close link between um, uterine fibroids and the hormone levels. And estrogen and progesterone, these two hormones that stimulate development of the uterine lining during each menstrual cycle in preparation for pregnancy, appear to promote the growth of fibroids. And fibroids contain more estrogen and progesterone receptors than normal muscle cells do. So it is very important to keep these two hormones in the normal balance, in the normal level. So normalize these two hormones are very important. That's why the first, the first and the second hormone, the uh, program suggestions are, are to normalize these two hormones. And the third one called the testosterone, female normalized level. I did a search on internet and didn't find the connection between this hormone and the uterine fibroids, but I still kept it here because that's suggested by one of our users and in case anyone here find it helpful, you don't have to try it if you don't trust this suggestion, but um, someone, some of our users suggest this program before. Um, after um, choosing the programs uh, to normalize the hormones, it's also very important to, to um, normalize the glands that, ha that have something to do with the uh, hormone production. The pituitary gland or hypophosis is an endocrine gland. Hormones are secreted from the pituitary gland, helping controlling growth, 
blood pressure, energy management, all functions of the sex organs, thyroid glands, and metabolism, as well as some aspects of pregnancy, childbirth, nursing, water, salt, concentration at the kidneys, temperature regulation, and pain relief. The hypothalamus gland, on the other hand, links the nervous system to the endocrine system via the pituitary gland. So it's also very important because these two glands play a very important role in the hormone production and the hormone transmitting. So it's very important to also stimulate, to um, balance these two uh, glands. And these five programs were suggested, uh, recommended by our users uh, based on this reason. Also notice that uh, people who suffer from uh, uterine fibroids may also have menstruation problems. So you may also want to run menstruation disturbances or menstrual problems. Or you can, you can directly type in the keyword menstrual, menstrual or menstruation and, and see which programs come out and read in the, in the notes and see whether it matches your symptom. For any remaining fibroids or myomas, you can also try these programs. As we just said that um, uterine fibroids uh, are also called myomas or lyomyomas or fibromas. So these are the names, the conditions of, of uh, what you are having. It's, um, it's very important to, to also uh, target the condition itself. The third course is some possible viruses. And um, here are some programs suggested by our users to remove the associated viruses. The names are very hard to read, so I, I won't read here. But uh, yeah, I will wait for several seconds so you can, you can see the programs. And um, other growth factors, substances that help the body maintain tissues, such as insulin-like growth factor, may affect fibroid growth. Insulin-like growth factor is a polypeptide hormone produced mainly by the liver in response to the endocrine GH stimulus. But it is also secreted by multiple, multiple tissues for an autocrine purposes. Because it's produced by the liver, so it's very important to, to support or detox the liver itself. And that's why um, we suggested to try liver support and liver detox programs. And these two um, listed here are not the, the actual programs. These are the keywords. You can uh, simply type in the keyword liver. Sorry, I, I write, did I write uh, live? <laughs> Sorry, it should be liver. Um, you, can, uh, you can simply um, type the keyword liver or liver support, liver detox, and um, read in the notes um, of the pro uh, programs that comes out and see whether it matches and choose those programs. I heard there are some um, messages coming. I'm not sure whether it's um, for me, but um, huh, yeah. From Gary Pressure. Hi, Gary. From Hi from London. Hi, Gary from uh, uh, China. Thank you so much for being here supporting me. Um, London, I think it should be very light in London now. It should be a, maybe two or three o'clock in the in the morning. Wow, you are staying up very late. Actually, we are. Um, if you don't have the, um, if the time do, does not allow you to, um, you know, uh, participate live, we will later on record the the video and upload it to uh, YouTube.com, YouTube uh, Spooky2Rife channel, or 
uh, we will also upload to spooktubevideos.com. And we will also share the videos with our users, share the links of the videos. So you don't have to stay up so late. It's not so good for our health. From Case Young, I had a brain hemorrhage from Kong syndrome and adrenal gland disorder. Please help. Um, Case, uh, this one is about um, this sharing. This episode is about uh, uterine fibroids. Personally, I do not have um, much experience in the in the condition you talked about, but I will do some research and I will also check in spooky2support.com and see whether there are some recommended uh, frequencies from our users and uh, I will send to you later on. And hi from Doris Weber. Hi, thank you. Thank you so much. Except for the uh, recommended programs, from our users, there are also some essential oil that can help uterine fibroids. Um, I have shared before that uh, I'm um, a lover of essential oil and uh, personally I have a collection of more than 100 different kinds of essential oils. And I use essential oil every day. And uh, also I run essential oil programs for myself like frankincense program because that's very good for healing. And I also use that for my um, for my mom, for my for my parents. The essential oil that helps uh, help with uterine fibroids um, are sandalwood, thyme, frankincense, and um, lemongrass and ginger. Last time, uh, um, in episode eight, coffee time, I introduced three different ways of uh, applying essential oils and uh, also introduced in details about four different kinds of essential oils. Um, frankincense was one of them and also ginger was another one. Why I introduced those two essential oils? Because they are very, very, frankincense is very, very good for healing and ginger is super good for women. Actually, sandalwood is also very good for healing. It's very interesting to know that both sandalwood and frankincense are used a lot in spirituality, spiritual practices. So after I know that, I'm now applying frankincense. Um, I am a cupping and, um, and breathing the frankincense before I do... Um, meditation and i found that it helps uh, and with helps with the focusing so it's very good you can have a try these five essential oils that you can do massage you can take internally um, if you have um, capsule you can um, put uh, several drops of each essential oil into the capsule and take it internally it's best to have uh, organic capsule that's made uh, out of food so you can take it internally and uh, it's um if you want to apply them uh, topically um and if you want to use that every day you can put all you can prepare a single bottle and um, do the blend do a blend by yourself so you don't have to open five bottles every time and um, and that would be too inconvenient so just uh, put uh, five different uh, essential oil into one bottle and uh, directly take a drop take several drops from that single bottle it will be so much more in, uh, convenient and uh, um, if you don't have um, all five essential oils you can try like three different kinds. That should be also okay. You don't have to have all of them. Uh, I'm going to introduce some um, very good ways, some normal, novel ways for you to apply the essential oils and also for you and to 
run those frequencies. Um, you know, in Chinese traditional medicine, and um, there are different meridians and acupoints uh, that if you uh, apply the um, if if you apply the frequencies or apply the uh, essential oils directly on the acupoint, it will be much more effective than uh, applied on other parts of the body. And uh, for uterine fibroids, there are two acupoints that are very very good. The first one is the San Yin Jiao San Yin Jiao point. San in Chi in Chinese means three. Yin, uh, yin is the one that's in yin and the yang. So, you know, in nature, yin um, is, it means, also means a female woman. Jiao means um, connection or meeting, when means that they connect to each other. So this actually means that uh, this is a place that the three yin meridians uh, meet each other. And that's why this is a very important point for women or for uh, reproductive system for um, yeah for female health. So if you have uh, any female health conditions, you can you can do massage here. Actually, you don't even have to have essential oil or you don't even have to run frequencies here. Simply pressing this point every day for 15 minutes or 20 minutes would make a lot of difference over time. Just to give some pressure to it. It's similar to, you know, give pressure. It's similar to um, doing acupuncture. But doing acupuncture and the acupuncturists or Chinese traditional medicine uh, professionals, when they use the needles to do acupuncture, they actually block that point. So the pressure would build up. And uh, when you take the, the pressure would build up and uh, would, um, you know, try to break through the uh, blockages. That's how it works. So we are not um, um, specialists, so, um, but we can do pressure from the outside. It will do similar work. So even if you don't have um, essential oil, you don't run frequencies, do simply pressure work here on the point every day for 15 to 20 minutes. It will do a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, difference. And um, how to find this point? You know, the inside ankle, you know where your inside ankle is, right? <laughs> it's four fingers above the inside ankle as shown in the picture. And uh, the effects of, uh, uh, of this point is a nourishing liver and spleen, increased chi and blood, help irregular menstruation, infertility, ex excessive and painful menstruation, etc. Also, not, not, only, not only this, anything that's regarded to female health problem or reproductive um, um, system problem, you can try this point. And the second point is uh, zi liao, zi liao point. Si in China means the second. Uh, so it's a second bone hole. You know, in the you can see from the right picture, it's a second bone. And the BL32, the two very red uh, spots are the two points. So yeah, you can you can uh, directly apply those essential oil on these two points, or do OQ, or do a, um, a pressure on the points, or you can um, run those frequencies and stick the the tense pads on these two points. This saying gel because you have. A, one point on each of your leg. So when you run frequencies, uh, when you put the tense pads on this point, you stick one on each point. Effects, irregular menstruation, uh, dysmenorrhea, infertility, etc. Um, these two points, when they are used together, 
they are especially for uterine um, fibroids. You can try that. And there are also some other very helpful acupoints. If you have time each day, then you can also try these other points. Here, this one is called the Zhongji point. Zhongji, Zhong in China means middle. Ji means extremely, extre ex extremity. Um, it's under your tummy button, about 13 centimeter. The effect is to resolve dampness and heat in the lower burner, strengthens the kidney, nourishes the essence, promotes the transformation of the bladder qi, benefits the uterus, regulates menstruation. Um, in Chinese traditional medicine, we say that uh, the damp dampness and, uh, and uh, cold are the cause of a lot of problems. And when they enter into our body, um, blockages build up. Block yeah, blockages build up. And that's, and that uh, and the, the, uh, some diseases will develop over time. So it's very important to, to clear the blockages by taking out the dampness and the coldness. This one is called, is called the Zhu Sanli point. Zhu Sanli is, uh, point is also a very important one. Uh, how do you find it? You can see there's a knee eye when you, uh, in the, as shown in the picture. The w one point that sticks out very obviously, you will know. Um, and um, it's for some fingers under the knee eye. Very easy to find. The, uh, it, this point, if you, if, you, if you do the pressure on this point uh, regularly, it will benefit the stomach and spleen tonifies qi and blood, tonifies original qi. What is original qi? Uh, it's the, um, the qi from the, it's the energy from the um, kidney. Increase yang, expels wind and dampness, and expels cold. That's uh, like what I said. Uh, wind, dampness, cold, they are, they are the main reasons of, uh, for a lot of diseases to develop once they enter into our, a specific part of our body. And xue hai, xue in Chinese means um, blood, hai is ocean. It means the ocean of blood. And um, TCM says that um, uh, the uh, qi and blood are both really, really important in TCM blood, uh, in TCM. Um, Xue, blood runs in the um, blood vessel and qi runs in the uh, flows in the uh, meridians and the qi helps push the blood to run more smoothly so it's very important to have uh, um, very good qi and blood even my parents you know they they can see whether a person is in good uh, health condition by looking at their qi and blood so every time um, when I come back from um, overseas traveling, my mom always say, gosh, you are really not in good condition. Your qi and blood is not very good. <laughs> it's by looking at uh, the, the color of my face and um, my energy level, yeah, they, they, have, they have their way to tell. <laughs> so, um, bend your knees 90 degrees and place your hand over the knee as shown above. And you can see the, the red spot. That part is the Xue Hai point. It can help cause the blood, invigorates the blood, and eliminates stasis, stops bleeding, regulates menstruation, nourishes the blood, controls the rebellion of qi. You can see that anything that's related to the blood you can, you can do something here. It's, it's very amazing, you know, when you know um, Chinese traditional medicine, you will find that, like, you, you, will, you, will, you will gradually know what to do. In, in China, there's a saying that um, 
you become a doctor yourself after uh, being a patient uh, for a long time. <laughs> And this one is qi hai. Qi means, uh, um, qi everyone knows it's the uh, energy. Uh, hai is uh, ocean, so it's uh, the sea of qi or sea of energy. Um, it's two fingers about five centimeters below tummy button. It helps tonify the original qi, that is uh, the qi from the kidney. And the yang restores qi, regulates qi in the lower burner. You can see that there are several very important points under the tummy button. So uh, even if you don't know the, where the point is, do massage every day under the tummy button will still help a lot. And all these, you know, um, the five essential oils I uh, recommended, the sandalwood, um, frankincense, ginger, um, lemongrass, and um, what are they? Uh, the the uh, geranium, jasmine, they are, oh, thyme. I think someone, uh, yeah, all these, uh, all those five essential oils are in Spooky 2 frequency database. So not only you can apply the, the essential oil, on the uh, OQ points, you can also run the frequencies, uh, the essential oil frequencies. So how to run essential oil frequencies through Spooky Two? A very popular way, run essential oil molecular weight frequencies is through Spooky Two remote. And that's what we are, most of us are doing. And um, put the recommended essential oil on Spooky Two scalar receiver coil, like uh, the picture shows. I have to apologize. Uh, last time I was very nervous, so I made some mistakes. I said, put it on the transmitter coil. No, it's not the transmitter coil. Um, it is the receiver coil. And the raw essential oil molecular weight frequencies is through spooky two tense pads on the suggested occupants. That's um, what I said. Um, if you... Most of the time when we do contact treatment, we just uh, uh, put uh, the tense pads anywhere we want. But there are actually some points that are much more effective than other parts of the body, uh, like the OQ points. Do a search on the internet. Like if you have a certain condition, do a search on the internet and find out the relative uh, OQ points and then put the um, tense pads on those occupants, it will make a lot of difference. And um, even if you do not um, use the, even if you do not use the um, tense pads, you can, you can directly take the tense pads off and then use the pin from the tense cable and put it on the ten, uh, occupants because it is uh, more accurate. And also the um, metal itself uh, will help with, the, uh, help with the, the current flow. It may be more effective, but it is not as convenient as using tense pads itself because you have to hold it there all the time. Or um, you can use the uh, cold laser. Uh, in Spooky 2, put uh, uh, shine the laser to the exact OQ points. Try it. These are these are the ways that you may haven't tried before. So, yeah. Uh, like I mentioned, all the uh, above recommended frequencies can be run the same way through spooky two tense pads on the suggested occupants and the take or take off the tense pads or use the code lasers. Well, there are um, acupuncture points may be used safely for acupressure. Like uh, what I said, you put your finger on it, use some pressure. It's very safe to use. It won't do any harm, but um, only acupuncturists or Chinese traditional medicine professionals can use needles. Don't try needles by yourself. Don't 
put the needles inside your skin, uh, into your skin, it's, it may be very um, unsafe. And uh, there are some other recommendations. Um, well, less beans, I think many people know this. Uh, less cold drink or food, not only um, temperature cold, also um, don't, don't uh, eat any food that's cold or cool energy. It's not so good for people to have uterine uh, fibroids. And uh, try some Tibetan singing bower meditations. Um, you know, in Tibetan um, singing bower meditations, uh, they have many notes, and each note is related to one of the chakras. So for um, uterine fibroids, mainly try the, the notes that's connected with the first chakra and the second chakra. chakra. And do a search on YouTube, try Tibetan singing bower meditation, first chakra or second chakra, then the uh, videos will come out. It will have um, the, the music, the, 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 the notes, so you can directly follow the instructions. Normally there's someone saying in the video, what do you need to do? I tried that, it's very soothing. You either sit there, do the meditation, or you lie down and feel the notes. And uh, the, the last one, conscious healing. Um, recently, I'm reading a book called um, Quantum Touch. In the book, uh, the author um, talked about healing using, using our hands. Um, there are some practices needed. One is um, some spatial breathing techniques and the other is uh, uh, awareness through, but we got that awareness through um, meditation. Um, we visualize the parts of our body that needs to be healed and visualize that, uh, like for example, if there are tumors, then you visualize the tumors go away, leave. Then it will, I mean, it may leave. I believe it, but um, I do think that for things like that happen, we first need to raise our conscious, raise our frequency first. Um, make our vibration frequency higher first. So um, according to my own experience, Meditation helps a lot. It helps us be aware that our body is not ourselves. Our uh, feelings are not ourselves. And uh, be aware each part of our body. Like the tumors are tumors. The, even the little cells in our bodies, you can feel it. That's the kind of... Um, awareness that meditation can help us get. Um, I will give her a um, little, uh, well, I will ask our audience to try one thing. Stick out one finger and focus on this finger for two minutes. Only focus on this finger and let me know what do you feel. I'm, I'm already feel tingling and the flow of the blood and also I feel that my nail is on my finger and that's the thing we forget when we are when when we are busy with something else but uh, um, we need to you know spend some time with ourselves every day because Being with ourselves may be the most important thing in our life. Okay, thank you very much for listening, for spending time with me. Um, um, I gradually feel that although I'm very nervous and although it takes a lot of time for me to prepare for um, each coffee time, but me, myself, is the one that gets the most from uh, 
this program. And I really hope that、uh, those who are sharing time with me are also getting a lot. Thank you very much, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.